Welcome back to Clune Arena, where tonight the Air Force Falcons stage a great comeback in that fourth quarter, but fall short 65-63. to Vince Greco, Gene Parker. Gene, the way we were talking about how the Falcons played defensively for those first three quarters, it's remarkable that they had a chance to win at the end of this game. And that just shows how much resilience they have. And I think what Coach G is saying in the locker room right now, she's not blaming Nikki McDonald, saying you should have taken that shot. She's saying if we would have played better just on two defensive possessions right. in the first half, we would have won the game. And that's why each possession is so crucial because in games like this, it really comes down to one or two possessions. Well, the Falcons did slowly chip away at that hot, red-hot Wyoming Cowgirls shooting. Cowgirls finished the night at 51%, basically. Falcons shooting 40%. Pretty even from beyond the arc. Rebounding, Wyoming had a very big advantage tonight. They did. They're, they're plus, they're plus, what is that? I can't do the math right now. They're plus eight. But if you just look at the Air Force side, just solely look at their stats, those are excellent stats. 13 assists, only 10 turnovers. That's exactly where you want to be. And shooting 40% from the field most games, you'll win those. But when you look at the other side of the coin, shooting 50% for Wyoming, that's really, really tough to beat. Highlights of this game, and early on, Kalen Emmel will go behind the back. Emmel had a pretty good night tonight, 14 points, five assists, four rebounds. And then Riley Snyder, boy, she had her moment. She was really streaky tonight in that first half. She had the first six points of the game. And then when the Falcons did play defense, Sierra Winters to Jones, perfect how you run the give-and-go fast break. Yeah, and taking advantage of that two-on-one. And, and like you said, the Falcons, if you could just sum it up, they're streaky. They they had really, really good runs, but they struggled to weather Wyoming's good good runs. And Wyoming just played solid all game. I mean, shooting 50%, finding the open girl, reading the defense, and knowing exactly what the game plan is and attacking Air Force's weaknesses. 34 points in the paint for the Cowgirls tonight. But Air Force had their chances. Riley Snyder and the and one brings Air Force to within two. And at the end of the game, they have a chance to win it. McDonald hands it off to Kalen Immel. It falls wide right, and there was the end of the ball game. But again, what a great effort for Air Force to battle back. We talk about teaching moments. I know they lost, but they did battle back. There was no quit in the Air Force Falcons tonight. And that's the bright spot there. They have a lot of resilience. Even playing abysmal the first half of defense, they came back, buckled down, and came within striking distance of winning this game. Well, I'm glad you were with us tonight. It was a nail-biter here at Clune Arena, but once again, it was the Wyoming Cowgirls winning this one 65-63. to The Falcons will take flight for the first of three on a game or three-game road trip, continuing conference play at Nevada Saturday night. For my broadcast partner, Gene Parker, and our entire Falcon Vision crew, thanks for watching, and good night, everyone.